Mmm. Look at that. Hey everyone, welcome to Adventures in Everyday Cooking, where every day can be an adventure in your kitchen. My name is Heather, and today we are adventuring with our air fryer and tri-tip. Aha! Tri-tip, you say? Oh yes, we're gonna do rotisserie tri-tip. Now I've done this several times and I actually thought I'd already done a video on it, but when one of you, and I can't remember who, asked me if I've done a video before, I went to search for it and it's not there. So I must've just imagined it, but I know this is a great recipe. I know it can work. And if you have the deluxe air fryer from Pampered Chef, this one is a keeper of a recipe. Are you ready for this? Super easy, amazing, let's go. All right, so this is a really, really easy recipe. Um, all you need is tri-tip, any type of marinade. It's best to marinate it overnight, but if you don't have the time, just marinate it for a little while, it'll be fine. Or you can just salt and pepper it and put a dry rub on it and call it good. However, today we're just going to use an already marinated tri-tip fry tip from Swingles Meat Company. We treat ourselves a couple times a year. We drive the hour down there. I mean, it's local, but it's an hour away. Um, we drive an hour down there and an hour back just to pick up our tri tip and other steak cuts. So if you're local, check Swingles out. This is not a sponsorship. They don't even know who I am. I just went in and got meat. So. There's the little plug, good meat. All right, and we got the mother load tri-tip for today. And all we are going to do is cut off the top and take the meat out. Now, it is very important that you have a meat thermometer for this recipe because I don't know how big your tri-tip is and I don't know how you like your meat done. We like ours medium rare. So we're gonna temp it to that. I'm gonna leave the temperature um, chart down in the bottom of the comments so that you know what temperature you're looking for. So what I'm gonna do, so if you have a Paper Chef air fryer, you're gonna want your basket, oh yes, your basket, and uh, your air fryer. If you do not have a Paper Chef air fryer, you can just do it straight on your rack or on your um, the bottom, that'll be fine, but doing it this way, You'll see, you'll see, it's freaking amazing. So we're gonna go ahead and take our tri-tip out of our bag, shake it off, and we're gonna get it right into the basket. So here we go. All right, we're done. We're gonna get it right into the rotisserie area. Get it shut. We are gonna start it on rotisserie for, we're gonna start 20 minutes. At the 20 minute mark, we are actually going to temp it and that's it. I can't wait for you to see how fabulous this thing looks when it's done. All right, we have reached our desired temperature, actually a little over because I wasn't watching. I'm sorry, but let's take it out. All right, and inside of this beautiful basket, is our wonderful tri-tip. Our wonderful basket, our beautiful tri-tip, either one. Okay, here we go. Look at that beauty. Whoop, whoop, woo. All right. And I did let it rest for several minutes before taking it out. So it should be ready to cut right now. So are you ready for some cut in action? Here we go. Oh my goodness, you can tell I actually overdid it a little bit. Oh wow. Not quite medium rare, it's more like medium. But, oh no, there we go. We got some medium rare in there. Yeah, buddy. Perfection. And the crust on this thing, amazing. Okay. I'll stop cutting and I will try a piece for you because that's what I do. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, so juicy. Mm. 
That's really good. <laughs> Try tip with your air fryer. It's never been easier. Like, check it out. Amazing. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. And I don't know if you can see, you get to stop it at whatever temperature you desire. And there's a nice, did I hear that? Nice crispy crust. Oh, and this is, if you have not, if you're local and you've never been to Swingles, check Swingles out. Delicious. Oh my word. Okay, that's it. It's time for dinner. So I'm going to let you go. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel. I do videos several times a week, and I'm always looking for the next adventure. So if you have one you want to see me do, leave it in the comments below. Otherwise, we'll see you on the next adventure. Bye. Well, there we go. There we go. Okay. Now it's really time to eat.